What's up and good morning. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning in South Central Kansas. We're out this morning to do a little bit of pre-fishing for a guide trip that I have tomorrow morning at one of my all-time favorite lakes in Kansas. It's a lake that I cut my teeth on guiding five years ago. It's a lake that I've cashed tournament checks on. My dad and I won there last fall and it's finally just starting to turn on. The water level has dropped significantly. I think it's only like six or seven feet high right now. The smallmouth are bitey, and I know that to be factual information. So while I've got some extra time this morning, I'm gonna get out there and figure them out. It's been a little while since I fished the lake. I mean, it doesn't really fish too terribly well in the summertime, but now we're like literally almost into that fall transition, you know, mid-August. Uh, it's only 68, 69 degrees right now, and the water temps are gonna start to drop here pretty soon and turn those brown fish on. I'm really looking forward to getting out. It's about 6.30, getting kind of just a little late start this morning, but it should be fun. I'm trying to do the intro in the truck right now on my way into the state park because as soon as I get there, I'm gonna want to uh, bust ass and get everything loaded up and get to the first spot. So. Hoping maybe for a cheeky little topwater bite this morning, even though I'm just a little bit late. I mean, the sun is just coming up over the horizon, but from there, I'll probably be dragging a tube or a Ned, throwing small crankbaits and stuff. So I'll see you guys on the water. Looking forward to this one. After the uh, all-time scariest poop I've ever taken in my life, uh, we're here. Just gonna start off on this point here. Uh, this point has always been good to me in the past and today it's got a nice breeze on it. So that's cool. So obviously we are gonna start out with a little bit of top water action, just a little baby. Willie P, the old plopper. Should be able to get one to come up here. Should be able to. I would like to show you a topwater smallmouth. Oh, and I just saw one rise right there. They're here. Let's just see what they want to do. Water temp's about 77. Probably come up a little bit since I just put the trolling motor in. There he is. Second cast, it's a nice one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice fish. Get him in the boat. Spot lock. Second cast of the morning and we found a keeper. And there he is. It's him. Well, I am very much excited about the morning first one of the morning not a bad one probably 16 sweet let's get another one. Oh, I just missed another one yeah we got a back wet. oh my god he's still there so with anything like that we're gonna follow it up with the Ned I don't think that fish was very big but He's still gotta be there. Let's see if I can get him on the follow-up bait. Oh, he's on. Oh, missed him. Yeah, I don't think, th there he is. Came back and got it. Yeah, not, not okay. I don't even know why. I picked up this stupid bait already. I just wanted to follow up <laughs> and see, uh, yeah. How about we just not show that one to the camera? Okay. Oh. They're just, they're missing it. The smaller ones are coming up and hitting. That's the second cast in a row where I've gotten blown up on, but the fish just didn't get it. Might have to pitch in there with a small crankbait or a tube, show them something different if they're starting to get smart already. Got him. 
I know that there's a ton of fish in the system right now and they're not, I mean, they're not all huge, but they're getting really fat and I like them all sizes, especially when they're biting. But when you pick up the Ned, that's about what you can expect unless you get in an area with more big fish. God, he's out of his mind, of course, because he's a smallmouth. Um, but I just, I put down the Whopper Plopper for a second just to kind of comb the area with a uh, Ned and pick one up and that's what happened. So, cool. There's a little guy. Oh my God, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Okay. How do we start the morning off with like a 16 or 17 incher and then those guys? Okay, dickhead. <clears throat> Stop. It's my first time fishing, guys. Ooh. Wow. Well, I just watched a turkey uh, fly out of the tree. I was like, is that a turkey buzzard? Um, he was struggling there for a second. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to rescue this thing. But uh, he's just walking. It's just a turkey. It's an actual turkey that was in a tree and he flew to shore. I've never seen that before. It was definitely not a buzzard. That was weird. All right, we made a run. We're about just a little over halfway down the lake. Try some new water here get off that other stuff for a little while really definitely losing the breeze I don't know why that always happens when I come here but just gonna keep fishing around in a good high percentage area here now so let's just see just throw in a small 1.0 crankbait see if we can't get some sort of reaction strike be fun to catch them on a little crankbait There's a better fish. That's a better one. Finally. Oh, yeah. Right where he should. Oh, Mike. That's like a three and a half pounder. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is a big one. This is a big one. We're going to have to get the net for this guy. <clears throat> he might be over three and a half. Yeah, this is a nice one. <laughs> that might be, that's the biggest one I've caught since uh, Sturgeon Bay. This one might be over three and a half. Didn't even feel him bite, just picked it up and there was a little weight and he was just charging away with it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's a really nice one. <laughs> Woo! That is a dandy. Stay down. He's hooked pretty good, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stop doing that oh look how beautiful that fish is and look how big it is too okay yeah um that one might be close to four that is a super super nice fish he's not i don't think he's quite four but on the tube hell yes right in the corner of the mouth that's what we came for that's the bite we're looking for so i'm pretty much just like fishing the corner of this boat ramp the boat ramp bite's been pretty good but there's a little section of rock right there in the corner and he was right on the edge of that rock and concrete transition gonna wait I know I'm gonna catch hell for this but 
Ben Milliken has my really nice scale and I made sure to at least put one in the boat and my fish grips broke last night so this is all we got. Stop. Shh. Yep, just over three and a half. Looked like 354, 352. Sweet. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. That is what we came here looking for. Look at those colors, man. She is just gorgeous. Perfect, perfect. That's a good one for Kansas too, so. There she goes. Well, that was pretty fun, hey? It's like uh, nine, what is it? No, it's 8.30. Um, was getting pretty worried there for a little bit, but made a run like at least a little bit more than halfway down the lake. I haven't really fished this area much, but right on that little rock to concrete transition on the boat ramp. That's where she was on the tube. So let's see if we can't catch a couple more of those. I don't want to soil up all my guide trip fish for tomorrow, but I also want to catch a couple more like that. That's fine. Next cast in there. Next, oh, he spit it. Wow, that was the uh, very next cast in the same spot. That one was small. Smaller, small-ish. Next cast, though. Got another one. Yep, missed him. Don't forget, oh, he came back for it. Oh, he's small, that's why. What is that? A little largemouth? Okay. How do we go from 354 to three ounces? I don't know. Could be a lot of fish in there though. I'm gonna try and make this tube last. There we go, that's a bigger one. That one crushed it. It's coming straight at me too. Please don't be a drum. If this is a small mouth, it is big. I think it is too. I don't know. I got bit by a small fish before that. And then this came, I think it's a drum. Yeah. I don't know though. It is drum. Thought for sure it was a smallie that just came back. He should have already jumped by now. It is. Oh my God, it's a catfish. It is a channel. Channel catfish. You were supposed to be a big smallmouth dummy. Maybe I should pull a, my like my buddy Josh Pig Patrol and just pull over to the side of the road and uh, fry this up. Not. Nah. Yep. Heck, you too. There we go. Oh, better one? Yeah. Not as big as the other big one, but he's way bigger than the other ones. Like a two, two and a half? Oh yeah, oh shit. He's growing now. Wow. Oh yeah. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Let's see if we can just boat flip his ass, okay. It's a nice one, chunky. They're eating healthy here. Wow, you think you wanted that tube too? Shit. All right, it's a nice chunky guy. Send him back. All right, well, they're definitely loaded in this uh, boat ramp here, so I think we have figured out where we're probably gonna start tomorrow morning. It's truly just a matter, I mean, there's so many fish in here. I can't make one cast without getting bit by dinks, but if you get it past those, you're probably gonna run into a little better one. Hmm. Dicking around on my phone. It's a good one too. Yeah, a little better. We've got Tom and Jerry about to put in their boat on the ramp here. Oh, he's gone, okay. Yeah. 
majorly giving away our spot. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at how chunky these fish are right now. Look at that. I'm trying to be quiet because these guys are about to put in. Hopefully they'll put in on the other side and maybe not spook all the fish, but I am fishing at a boat ramp after all, so I don't know what to expect. Couldn't just pick them up on the other side of the dock, huh? You know, because the wind's blowing into it. Makes a little bit more sense. Help well, pick them up on this side. That makes a lot more sense. Those little ones are so si Oh, that is not a little one. Okay. That fish missed it three times. Well, I missed it, and then he missed it. And he came back, and I'm like, oh, it's small. Nope, it's not small. Sure is not small. <laughs> that would happen. Hopefully, I got a good hook in him, because I thought it was a dink, but it was not. It's another big one. Bigger. Well, this is just... A dandy morning. Well, he's not that big. He's like two and a half pounds, but I like it. Even after Bob and Gerald put in their 80-year-old fiberglass boat, uh, this guy still wanted a bite. I'm glad that this guy wanted a bite after they left. Oh, yeah. Bet we could swing his ass. Yes. Oh, grrr. Kind of a peanut. Nice two, two and a half pounder. Chunky. They're eating so good right now. Beauty. All right, tube's still producing. This damn boat ramp is still producing. I like it. Cool. Oh, you got it? Oh yes, that was. Come back and get it, come back and get it, come back and get it. He's got it, there he is. Oh, that was the coolest thing ever. That was seriously the coolest thing ever. You guys probably won't be able to see that. That fish chased my tube up as I was reeling it in, hit it, missed it, hit it again, missed it, and then third time I dropped it down and he crushed it. He's not big, but he's also not a dink dink. That was so freaking cool, I love, love, Love smallmouth. You guys think it's time for a new tube? It might be. Well, I guess it's uh, just about that time for a mid-morning update. It's like 9.30, almost. Um, just about to leave this little boat ramp honey hole that we've got here. Definitely gonna have be, make that be the first thing that we fish tomorrow. Some big fish, some, a lot of small fish. You're probably not gonna see even a quarter of all the small fish that I caught, but Either way, it's pretty fun. So I'm gonna try and run some more new water. The, the breeze has picked up. It's an east wind. It looks like uh, just blowing right down the pipe on this lake. So I'm gonna try and maybe fish some windy stuff, windy points, main lake points, windy rock, all of these smallmouth things. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep putting some stuff together to have a good day tomorrow and run into a couple more big ones. So let's get out there and see what happens. Oh, that thing didn't even, oh, that's a nice one. That thing didn't even hit the water. Did not even hit the water and that fish was on it. It's a nice one too. Oh, holy shit, he's out of his mind. I don't know how well he's hooked. Out of his damn mind. On the little crankbait. He must, he like literally hit it. I didn't even make one crank. That was freaking cool. Well, we'll just put him in the net since there's treble hooks involved. Wow. Okay. A rocky point with some wind on it. That's a nice one. He just hung himself in the net too. 
top of his head, popped right out. Nice peanut, two pounder. We will take him. Cool, that was fun. Scared the Christ out of me. Ooh, there's one. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's a nice one. Oh. Oh, that sucks. That was a big fish. And he wrapped me around the pole. Oh, that sucks. That's poop. That's poopy poop shit. Man. Broke me off. That was a big fish. Good thing I got two of those. Oh man, that sucks. What are you gonna do though? He wrapped me up so hard in that stuff. It's pretty cool though. Just right along, I mean, I couldn't get it any closer to the edge of the dock there. That was, a, I don't know if that was a big spot or if it was a big smallmouth, because we're in spotted bass territory, but man. Nothing I could do there. Couldn't get him out quick enough. Oh, nice one. Right along the brush. Still in this kind of boat ramp area. Just feathering that right along the edge of the, the bushes and stuff. Ah, oh, he spit it. Well, you guys got to see him. That was like a two pounder. Poop shit. All right, guys. Well, you know we had to do it. Come back to uh, the honey hole boat ramp one more time. It's like 11 o'clock. Probably not gonna fish for too much longer, but I am curious to see how the spot fishes a little bit later in the morning, considering it was like 9, 8.30 to 9.30 when we were fishing it. See if there's anybody left home. Make for one nice last little spot. Maybe hit one more thing on the way back in, but it's just been real spotty. Oh, there he is. That one knocked slack in it. Is that a spot? What is that? Oh, it's a sucker. <laughs> okay. The saugers are on the wacky worm pattern. He would not be a keeper on this lake. Still pretty cool. I haven't caught one in a while. Sauger head. I love the wacky wing ding. The trifecta for this lake. A large mouth, a small mouth, and a spot. Yay. Alright guys, we are back at the house. Uh, I com somehow completely forgot to film an outro at the lake, but does not really matter. I apologize for the background noise. My neighbor is having a new roof put on today. Super fun morning on the lake. Definitely got accomplished what I went there for. Um, I've got like seven or eight rods behind me ready to rig up for tomorrow's guide trip. So caught a few good ones, caught a bunch of small ones. So I think they'll have some fun uh, tomorrow. As will I, should be a nice little half day morning trip, but got stuff to get ready in the boat, got rods to get ready. Um, got plenty of footage for uh, Ben to edit. So I gotta get to that stuff. So in the meantime, I've got a tournament at Truman this weekend. Uh, that'll be fun, so that's the next time you guys will see me. I know I said that in the last video, but couldn't help but get out there. So I will catch you guys on the next one. I'll see you at Truman Lake this weekend. Peace.